British heavyweight Joe Joyce is pulling out all the stops and training with hard hitter from the UFC, Francis Ngannou. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash app, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It definitely helps the channel when you guys utilize that link. You can get ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps for one price, $12.99 a month. I personally have all three apps and utilize them. Great for travel. Great if you have kids. Click on my link, and it does help to support the channel in a phenomenal way. Now, April 11th, I cannot wait for the heavyweight fight. It's a domestic fight, British, UK fight. Frank Warren got him one. And that's Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce. Two guys with amateur careers, two guys with a lot of power, and two guys with undefeated records going head up. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Before I get into the fight, let's talk about the news and why you guys clicked on the video. Joe Joyce is pulling out all the stops and he is sparring. He got some rounds in with some tough work, including the UFC's heavy-handed Francis Ngannou. Now, if you guys watch the UFC, you'll know Ngannou is a beast at what he does, and he's very heavy-handed. His knockout with Alistair Overeem, vicious stuff, vicious uppercut. He, he got power, and, you know, I like the matchup. Now, Ngannou might not be as versed as maybe a Daniel Dubois in terms of his boxing approach. However, Ngannou is a striker, and he's primarily an up-and-down, kind of like a stand-up fighter, more so than some of the other dynamics and martial arts involved in MMA. So I think this is a good look for Joe Joyce. Get similar size dudes. You know, Joe Joyce is a big dude. I was next to him. I stood next to him at the Wilder versus Fury one fight that I covered. And, you know, he's bigger than I thought. He's a little bit bigger than Joe Joyce or Joe Joyce is a little bit bigger than Daniel Dubois. But Ngannou and Daniel Dubois are probably pretty close in height they both about six four six four and a half six five something like that and i think this is a solid look i want to see in a fight like this a fighter taking all the precautions and trying to get similar looks is it's in sparring it's going to be impossible to get someone who is identical because you would have to match their experience their exact attributes their arm reach you know it's impossible different styles and stuff so the best you could do is try to find similar builds people who can implement similar styles and one thing when it comes to daniel dubois that he's known for hence his nickname dynamite is his power and we know francis and ganu got cracks you know and ganu has done good recently his worst performance was probably his steep miocic fights but he didn't look good in that particular fight maybe it was something with his weight but he's come back since then and one thing we know is he too is a dynamite puncher so i really like this for joe joyce i think this is a good look he's an experienced dude um and probably fighting an mma heavyweight would probably be maybe even a little bit hard because it's not going to be the traditional boxer so it prepares you for not only a heavy-handed person but maybe awkward work too somebody who might be awkward because they might not be as conventional as a as a pro boxer would you know, because it's different disciplines altogether, even though he trains some boxing. So I like this. April 11th, it's about to go down. I'm really looking forward to this fight. This, to me, is a it's a, going to tell me a lot about both guys. Sometimes in the British fight world, British boxing, you got guys and they'll be built up and you don't really know how good they are until they fight world competition. Like, you know, some people will rave about Luke Campbell, talk about his Olympic gold medal. But he came up short versus Jorge Linares and Vasily Lomachenko. It's not saying he's a bad fighter, but at world level, he hasn't been able to get the job done. Plus, he lost to Ivan Mendez, Vinny Mendez, or whoever. So, you never really know. Daniel Dubois, he's fought like that Japanese giant dude he fought. Um, he fought some guy named Ebenezer. He fought some Antonio Brown-looking motherfucker with his beard dyed. Not really big names. Not names that'll really prove what he's capable so i look at daniel the ball you know as one of the guys i've been checking for pause 
in this sport, but we don't really know everything about him because his resume just hasn't stepped up. Frank Warren also has another fighter who was in a similar boat, Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard, when he fought Kovalev, I was like, yes, because that was going to tell me something about him. And I learned a lot, even though he lost that fight. I learned a lot. I did pick Kovalev to beat Anthony Yard because of the experience and the power and stuff. I didn't know how he would deal with it had it got to the later rounds and, you know, played out exactly how I thought. But that was a major step up for Yard in his career. Daniel Dubois has more amateur experience as a boxer than I believe Yard, but it's a similar story. Pro resume wise, he hasn't really faced the likes of a Joe Joyce, but the same could be said for Joe Joyce. So Daniel Dubois, he sparred with Alexander Povetkin, and I think it was for the Joshua fight. Daniel Dubois also re reportedly did really well sparring Anthony Joshua. They said he hurt him or knocked him out or knocked him down, something like that. So he has experience, but as a pro, he just hasn't had the the bigger names so this would be the best name he's fought and I, I could say the same thing honestly for Joe Joyce this is the first time he's fighting an undefeated fighter that showed the promise of a Daniel Dubois and this is the first time Daniel Dubois fighting an undefeated fighter that has the amateur pedigree Daniel Dubois is younger they weren't amateurs at the same time because Joe Joyce is older so he's been around the block he's fought Usyk he's trained with Tyson Fury Joe Joyce you know he's, he's game his style is a little bit you know kind of boxy mechanical a little bit slow but he clearly has power and it works for him so we're gonna see this is gonna be a test he's a little bit bigger than daniel the ball so look forward to my channel to talk about this fight a little bit more and more as the fight gets closer but i'm looking forward to this i like joe joy stepping out fighting heavy-handed people and sparring trying to prepare getting all the looks he switched trainers a couple of times he was with abel sanchez now he has a different trainer so switch situations but this is when they meet you know i can't wait for this I'm, I'm really checking for it and i will say this this is just a side note frank warren killing eddie hearn with his heavyweight matches between wilder fury 2 which already happened and daniel dubois versus joe joyce i'm much more looking forward to those heavyweight fights obviously the wilder one already happened fury beat him got the wbc belt but i was looking forward to those two heavyweight fights a lot more than Q Brad Pullet versus Anthony Joshua and Dillian White versus Alexander Povetkin. Sometimes Eddie Hearn has the better fights, sometimes he doesn't. In this particular case, he doesn't. I definitely feel Frank Warren has the better card. In terms of blockbuster, I don't know how it's perceived in the UK. You know, maybe the Joshua, because it's in a new stadium, maybe it does great numbers, phenomenal numbers, but in terms of meaningful fights and things of that sort i'm much more looking forward to the fight with joe joyce and dubois more than white pavekin or even aj versus pulev that's my personal opinion let me know what you guys think francis and getting some work with joe joyce i love it great stuff it also helped in in his ufc career fighting somebody like a joe joyce another powerful guy so I love it all the way around. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.